Hi, this is Peter from HDI, and in this Learning with HDI desktop tutorial session, I'm going to be showing you in this video how to access the grammar tools and the picture dictionary from Immersive Reader now that Microsoft have changed those tools using an extension. Just as a bit of a recap, Immersive Reader, so I've got a, an article here, was a way to open up web pages to make it accessible for both students in a classroom as well as others in a meeting where you want to display a web page and have everybody in the room read it comfortably. Microsoft have recently removed the grammar tools and the picture dictionary from the toolbar here, meaning that the syllable splitting, highlighting parts of speech and using the picture dictionary are no longer accessible from Immersive Reader. However, there is a way to use those using an extension. By all means, the inbuilt Edge version is excellent for taking a web page and changing the look and feel of it. However, those grammar tools were awesome for teachers who wanted to be able to show their students the parts of speech, highlight them all on the fly on a web page. This is where the power of extensions come in because Edge is built on Chromium. There is an immersive reader extension. It does work a little differently. It doesn't open a whole web page. You have to select text and do things to help you read it. But what I'm going to do now is show you how to install it and how to use it. Because Edge is linked in to Chrome, you can go to the Chrome Web Store. And when you open that, you can search the Web Store. So we are going to search for Immersive Reader. And just have us click on that, let it do its thing to search. Helferbird, by the way, is an amazing app that does have Immersive Reader in built in. But just for pure Immersive Reader, let's click More Extensions. And then we want to find Use Immersive Reader on Websites. So if I click Use Immersive Reader on Websites, there is the Get function, which will install. It will get the extension, install it, add extension. All right, so it's going to check. And there we go, just been added. Some people like to pin their extensions to the taskbar there i'll just pin that so i'll just unclick that little eye icon so now you can see with the puzzle which is the extensions piece all these little puzzles that get it added you can see there that immersive reader is ready to go so i can close this now that i've installed that let's go back to my original article all right so i've got my original article here the only problem with using this extension is you can't open the whole web page. What you need to do is select parts of text. So you might want to, let's open these first a uh, few paragraphs there. Right click, and then if you select here, help me read this. This works with your touch screen. It all works natively through the touch screen, so there's no difference using it on a PC with a mouse or using it on your interactive screen. What it will do is it will go away and think about it and then open those sentences now, all those paragraphs, in Immersive Reader. And it's got access to the full grammar tools there. So you can now turn your parts of speech on and off as needed, with labels on if you need them, turn off syllables, and do that all as you would normally do in the original Microsoft Web App version. The Picture Dictionary. So let's do Returning, perfect. Let's do First and see what we get there. Nothing there, so Returning, Landed. What do we get? Yeah, perfect. So there's a way for you to use Immersive Reader in Edge without having to worry about missing out on those grammar features and that picture dictionary. It is a little extra convoluted step, but once you get installed and once you get up and running, use it a few times, it starts becoming quite natural. Just as a hint, that also works in Chrome. So if you go to the Chrome Web Store and insert that as an extension into Chrome as well, you'll get the full access to that Immersive Reader in Chrome across those websites. Then again, once you've installed it, select the text you want, right click, help me read this. And instantly you'll have access to that amazing immersive reader. Thanks for watching. Hope you found that video useful. For more hints and tips like this, come and check us out on our YouTube channel, Learning with HDI, or on our webpage at hdinteractive.com.au.